here with rugby league legend Mike Stevo Stevenson. Uh, Mike, great occasion. Uh, you know, do you always still enjoy the, the Wembley atmosphere? Oh yeah, I, they, they should never ever take it away. And I mean, they had to when they refurbished uh, the Wembley Stadium. They had to take it to Wales yeah. and then they took it up to Scotland, and uh, that was okay. But it's a magic, isn't it? The, oh, yeah. the, the name yeah, Wembley. Yeah. Yeah. It, uh, and I, I think it's fantastic because we're one of the very few sports that when it comes to a, a final or a grand final, they don't just have the two colours. Yes, it's... You can see them all around, you know, they're different, uh, they, they come from Hull, they come all over the place. And, uh, and that's the magic of Wembley, isn't it? Yeah. And uh, this year there's going to be an additional... Uh, Magic is going to be emotional, but uh, a bit of a celebration of, of, of Rob Burrow's life. I mean, you commentated on him for years. You know, what, what are your biggest impressions of him? Um, I call him a legend. Yeah. Uh, to win the Harry Sunderland Award in the grand final, not once, but twice, just shows it. And I think probably one of the greatest tries that's ever been scored uh, uh, when he went the full length of the field. It was, it was just magic. His, um, they did a documentary on him just recently, and it, you could see him playing when he was about seven years of age. Yeah. He had the step, he had the guile, and of course everybody said one thing, he's not big enough to make it. Boy, did he prove them wrong. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he was, and he was such a nice guy. Uh, I interviewed him uh, several times, obviously, whilst working for Sky. Uh, he never turned you down, he was always there, he always had a big smile on his face. And uh, I think it's wonderful that not only are the rugby league at this final uh, are giving him a good send off, but also the rugby union are doing exactly the same thing. And that's the impact. Uh, what he did with Kevin Sinfield and raising millions uh, for MND, and, it's, um, and we just hope that uh, one day they'll, they'll find a cure. Because uh, he, he fought to the end, fought to the end. Really, really. A magical man. Um, I used to call him the little maestro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I know it's, it's going to be incredibly emotional um, and it's a great celebration of his life today. I'm looking at the game, Warrington Wigan, who, who are you tipping? Who's your expert analysis on? <laughs> I'm not so sure about the expert <laughs> analysis, but. Uh, I hope that Warrington win because uh, Sam Burgess is born and bred in my old town, Dewsbury. Yeah. So uh, naturally, I want I want him to do well, and I think he's, you know, in such a short time, he's sorted out Warrington, um, and there's so many young kids, yeah, and that's yeah. what I like to see. You know, uh, I'm not saying that the older players should be pushed away or to one side, but the more youngsters we can get involved in our game of rugby league, then it it's got a bright future and. We'll see that today. Right. Two sides yeah. who are absolutely well matched, and and I can't wait. I think uh, I just want I want it to be something special, not just for the the game itself, but you know for the memory of Rob. Yeah. Last question, Lanston Trophy winner. Who are you tipping? Boy, that's um, that's a that, that's a hard one. You know, I've no I'll tell you what. I've no, I'll tell right, you I'll tell you what. If, no if what, if uh, give me two, one from Wigan, one from Warrington. No, I tell you what. I, I just, I just do not know who you could pick. Mainly due to the fact it's the journalists that pick it. Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. That's perfect answer, mate. Cheers. Thank you for your time. It's a pleasure. Thank you.